had since being the Manchester United manager? Oh, yes, I think so, yeah. Uh, we, uh, we had some good wins at Liverpool, Arsenal home. Uh, really good wins, but I think this is um, oh, um, so two two legs, uh, one tie. Barcelona, Barcelona is the leader. La Liga, eight p points ahead. Real Madrid. We all have seen Real Madrid yep. in this week, yeah. Yeah. and if you then beat them, I think it's it's a big win. Yeah. What didn't you like about the first half performance? Uh, it's like um, so uh, European Cup. So second second leg. Um, um, I think it was flat both sides. Uh, no chances at all. And F. One has to go in the lead. We were we had big chances with Bruno eh? in yeah. the start of the of the game. Also after a good switch, uh, was a chip far post. Could have done better. And then but you're one 0 down, uh, and I think was yeah, um, unnecessary. Uh, I was just going to say the first half was really flat, especially going forward, which was unusual for such a big game. And I'm just saying to you off air that substitutes this year seem to have made a massive impact on your team that must be something you're really pleased with uh, yeah that was one of uh, the, the parts of course from our game plan we know uh, we can if you can bring anthony if you can bring canaccio um uh, you get over the in the white areas you get speed uh, you get running behind you get uh, dribbles and you get uh, uh, belief uh, they are so brave both uh, they uh, they, uh, they, uh, they don't dare uh, they, uh, they don't fear anyone, and especially when you go to Stratford End, uh, they just take players on, uh, they're running behind, and I think that gives a push to the whole team. Yeah. yeah. Also, I was going to mention Freddie, I thought he was fantastic this tonight, and especially the second half over there. I think he's a much better player further forward. I don't see him as a controlling midfield player. I think when he's forward, further forward, he can play the pass. He's got a goal on him, as he's shown tonight. Is that something you think as well? Uh, I think I think so. So in between, what he can do really well is um, so make runs behind and the right moment. He has a timing and yeah. so um, get behind the, the, the midfielders from Barcelona. I think that was part of our uh, our game plan. It was already in Barcelona and now again was I think really effective yeah. uh, to make that from the second line the runs. Yes, I think one of the things that I think impressed that way. I mean, we've been covering all these games last season, this season. And at times, when it's been difficult, the team has, has kind of struggled with that adversity. Think back to the Brighton and the Brentford game. And then today, going 1-0 down against the top of La Liga. But it didn't feel like there was any nervousness, any, any, any stress. The team just found a way, found solutions. And it feels like the resilience is, is there, is so different from, from what it was last season and at the start of the season. Uh, yeah, I think, yeah. So, I think we have some great personalities in the team, uh, like, like uh, Rafa and, and Licha Martinez. Uh, they're going forward. As I said already, uh, Anthony uh, he doesn't fear, or Canacho doesn't fear anyone. And uh, we have more. Bruno also, uh, Casemiro, of course. So we have some players in, great personalities. And even when you get setbacks, uh, they, they move on. And uh, they carry on. And they are resilient, like you said. They are determined. They, they want to have to, uh, to get the result. And if you believe in that, even when uh, you get you conceded cheap penalty eh? you have to go on and you can turn around such a game and we know that but you have to get the evidence and uh, yeah, this is when you win a big game like this after one nil down a eh, difficult situation you can do it i think this will really uh, is a good motiv motivation in it uh, in the season eric the draw is tomorrow live on bt sport to find out who manchester united will face in the round of 16. have you thought about who you uh, might be up against <laughs> It doesn't matter for me. I focus on Newcastle United. It's the only thing that counts. Um, doesn't matter who will come. Um, uh, we have to beat them all. We know that. So if you want to win the cup, uh, uh, we will see. We will respect every opponent. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but uh, if you are well prepared and we have a strong belief, uh, we can do. I think Eric wants to um, um, play against anyone except one team. Uh, who's that? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> who's that, Robin? But, uh, but then I go to inform her. Uh, to get all the Bye information. No, yeah, it's a, uh, I think it's a possibility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope so. Yeah. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Eric, thank you so much for joining us. Best of luck on Sunday in the cup final thank as you. well. We appreciate your time. Have, have a good night. Okay, thank you. Well done. All the best. Well done. Well done. Congratulations. Eric Ten Hag was telling us a moment ago that they've got to get themselves down to London. It's it's such a significant win potentially ahead of the cup final, Paul, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. Good to go in with the momentum of beating a, a good team like Barcelona, a top-class club with the history they have. It was important going into Sunday, um, but there's not just Sunday. Sunday is a massive game mm. for silverware. It's something this club need. 
and it will take a little bit of pressure off him and the team. Now, every game from now to the end of the season is going to be big. You know, that I, I'm still not going to rule them out of the title. I know people will say they're a little bit too far away, but if, if a lot of people say Manchester City gone in the league, what are they two, three points behind Manchester yeah. City? So I still think they're in with a chance with this momentum. Well, the only thing I think that might hurt them is the amount of games. You think they got the League Cup final on Sunday? I think they got.